up Wendy Nerdigans this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Saki Kuso no Sainan chapters 179 and 180 and last chapter of um Saki Kuso no Sainan oh my god it was freaking hilarious so Kusuke and Kokomi came over, and boy, did Kusuke find his match. Oh, man, he just had to insult Kokomi, and Kokomi used her feminine wiles to get Kusuke's ass beat. It was fucking hilarious. Anyway, let's get to chapter 179 and see what happens next. The current temperature is negative three degrees Celsius. On top of that, there is also snow and strong winds. Um, this is shaping up to be the coldest day of the year. Make sure you take extreme caution when going outside. And this chapter is titled Winter uh, Dipsyster. Uh, whoa, it, is it really that cold today? Sai, I don't want to go to work. Maybe I should. Uh, maybe I should quit my job. When you write your letter of resignation, are you just going to quit because it was cold? <laughs> Saki, you bastard. Um, hold on a second. Um, I have the perfect thing here, Papa. Use this, huh? Whoa, a scarf. You knitted me a scarf? This should help uh, warm you up a little, right? This warms my heart uh, so much, I can't feel the cold anymore. I could go to work wearing nothing but the scarf. Ha. You wouldn't make it. You'd be arrested first. <laughs> I love this manga. More people need to read this manga. Uh, let's see. You know what? I'll read this haiku. This haiku this haiku here we go a serious case i'll use us uh, um psychometry to solve it right away i love this haiku it's awesome yeah what the heck is with this icy gale it's cold it's freezing cold so cold even if you shout you won't get any warmer it does kind of feel colder than normal today more than just kind of this is a normal weather we must be entering a new ice age yeah, I even had to put heat packs on my back. Why did you put them on? Oh my god, Nando, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why did you put them on over your uniform? Nando! Nando! Let's hurry up. The classroom has a heater. Yeah, let's run. We made it. Ah, so warm. It's cold! Oh no! Did the heater, did the heater freeze? Why is it so cold? Are we in the fridge? This is so different from being outside. Why is it the heater? Hey, Shun. Hey, are, who are you? It's me. It's, uh, oh, it's Aaron. This is the worst. Just look at that. The heater's cocked out. No! No! This is child abuse. The heater is malfunctioning and cannot be used. Then why are they, uh, why are they at school then? The, the school should not be... Uh, dude, no, no. No, this is child abuse. Huh? You're kidding, right? That's why it's so cold. The heater completely broke down, and now it's just pumping freezing air into the room. Then turn it off. They said it's connected to the heaters in all the other classrooms, so we can't turn it off. Then we have to sit through uh, this cold all day today? My hands are so numb. How am I supposed to write anything? I have uh, pyrokinesis, so I'm not particularly cold. But this certainly is a tough environment for ordinary people. Damn, Saki. Kuso, Kuso is just so lucky. But this certainly is a tough environment for ordinary people. If the heater um, had been broken from some external factor, I would have fixed it already. But since it's an internal malfunction, even if I fix it, um, it would uh, just stop working again right away. Sigh, I should put on my jacket too. Hurg, it's so cold. I feel like I've seen this somewhere recently. Hey, are you okay? If you're really that cold, you should go stand by the stove. There's a stove? Look, that's why there's that crowd of people over there. What the heck? If we had a stove, you should have told me sooner. Hold on a second. Hey, could you, um, hey, can you let me through? Oh, it's so warm. <laughs> Hi, what the fuck? What the fuck? Ah, so warm. He's so fired up. Hyro's the stove? What? What the fuck, Hyro? Like, what? What? Oh, hey, 
Ricardo Cun. It's kind of chilly today, huh? Want to do some squats with me? It'll warm you up. No, thanks. I see. I'm, I'm getting kind of tired, too. Maybe I should take a break. Hey, what are you doing, Hiro? Why are you giving up now? Don't give up. You can do it. You can keep going. You, you guys, you lazy asses. You guys should be working out, too, then. Thank you, everyone. Um, I'll uh, do my best. Kura. Yeah, that's right. Get even more fired up and warm us up. Looks like the stove is reaching at the end of its rope, too. Hmm? Hey, Nendo, are those heat packs on your back? Hmm? Oh, I forgot about those. But please, can you give me one of those? I bet it would work great against this cold. Oh, um, sure, it's not really all that warm, though. Huh? Oh, it's again. Let's see. Oh, sure, it's not really warm, all that warm, though. Huh? Ho hold on, you should give that to me instead. I'll give you 100 yen for it. Um, huh? Don't cut me off. I'll give you 150 yen for it. What? Then 200, 200 yen. 300 yen. I'll give you 350 yen. Hey, I asked for it first. Shit. I'll double it. 800 yen. Arg, come on. It's like we're in hell. <laughs> There's an option for Nendo's use tea packs. This is just fucking hilarious. That idiot. Cut it out. He was just joking. Oh, there aren't any heat packs. Get lost. Huh? You've got to be kidding me. Shit. Huh? It wasn't a joke, though. You idiot. If you start ha handing out heat packs when it's this cold, uh, you're going to you're going to cause a riot. You can't treat this like our usual classroom. Honestly, you don't understand anything. Here, take a look at that. Whoa, the heck is... Whoa, what the heck is that? Oh, my God. You got, like, you got, like, uh, oranges going on back there. <laughs> those are the ones who have lost to the cold. It's the fate of those who forgot their jackets or didn't have any preventative measures against the cold. They're the losers who have no choice but to cling to each other if they want to stay in this classroom. Why don't they just go home? Kuso and I are on the same page. Like, why don't they just leave? The survival race has already begun. There's no time to be worrying about others. We have to focus on surviving this freezing classroom until school's over. Why don't we just go home? True, we have to last until school ends, so right now we need to preserve uh, strength. Even just gaining or losing a single heat pack can make a different, big difference. But, okay, but if it's really that bad, why don't you just leave early? Wait, so why don't we just skip school then? Oh my god! Did that dude just really say something smart just now? Oh my god, yes, exactly. Nando, you finally said something reasonable for the first time in your life. Huh? What are you saying, buffoon? Are you seriously suggesting that right now? Um. Let's see. Um. You are, uh, you, are you insane? If we do that, we wouldn't be suffering right now. I seriously can't believe you, you imbecile. You're the worst, shithead. That's going too far. Don't you know what day it is today? In fifth period? Today is the day they're bringing this, uh, in the star alumni of our um, school for a guest lecture. Peanuts um, Oida, the popular comedian, star of the, star of the school. Peanuts um, Oida graduated in 92. What it means to have uh, dreams. If we leave early, we won't be able to see Peanuts live. Who? No one can leave because they all want to see Peanuts. Oh, Peanuts Oida is coming, to, is coming today? Peanuts, Oida? I want to meet Peanuts. Is Peanuts really that popular? In that case, there's no way we could leave early. That's what we're saying. I don't really care, so maybe I should just go home. I would too. I'm a Kuso. Like, I would just fucking go home at this point. All right, let's do our best to raise our defense. Yeah, go put on whatever extra clothes you can find. Hurry. Phew. Perfect. We did it. There's that, There was actually a lot of stuff lying around. Yeah, it's not cold at all like this. No, you just look like idiots. Also, doesn't that just make you colder? This is way better than before. Oh my god, then like the shirt is sticking up. And you can see that Nendo's lower back. Hey, look at those guys. Whoa, let's copy them. This is no time to be caring about fashion. We're definitely going to see Peanuts lives. And so, uh, so class set aside their embarrassment to, to, um, determined to stand against the cold. The temperature in the classroom had reached approximately 2 degrees Celsius, and a number of students dropped out along the way. 
first period, second period, third period, but somehow they managed to stand, uh, withstand the freezing classroom. That is, until a major problem arose. Oh no, whoa, really? What, what happened here? Hey, are you okay? Oh, sorry. It's hard to see where I'm going like this, so I accidentally crashed into it. Whoa, they're definitely going to make you uh, pay to fix this. I see, well, it's good that uh, you didn't get hurt at least. Oh my God, they broke a fucking window. For a second, I thought people were rioting again, right, Aaron? Aaron? Ah, oh, this is bad! Hurry up and cover the window! It's letting in all the cold! Whoa! So cold! Yeah! Oh, it's pretty windy. I should zip up my jacket. So cold! Yeah, it hurts! The wind stings! It, is it snowing outside? Someone do something about that window! Impossible! We can't get close to it! We're seriously going to freeze to death like this! Help! This is certainly, uh, this certainly is some abnormal weather. With the wind, it's as, uh, cold as, um, as a freezer in here. A normal person wouldn't be able to handle this. I want to do something to help, but no matter what I do, it would seem unnatural. What happened? Huh? For real? Is this a dream? I heard the sound of breaking glass. Whoa, hey, why is it so cold in here? It's Peanuts Oweda song. Whoa, the real thing. Awesome. You guys should keep away from this window. The glass might start flying in, so it's dangerous. Yes, sir. I can't do anything about this by myself. I should call the teacher. Hmm? Hey, are you okay? Here, put this on. Huh? But wait a second, then you'll be... Don't worry. It's a senpai's job to look uh, um, after his underclassmen, right? Live peanuts is so nice. Aw, just wait here. I'll be right back. He's so nice. Yeah, it warms my heart. Somehow I don't feel cold anymore. Me too. Oh, that warmed my heart so much. I don't feel the cold at all. Yeah, peanuts is so warm. I'm not the least bit cold. Wait a second, so cool. There's no way he could actually warm you up that much. I used pyrokinesis to create the curtain of heat over the broken window, turning all that wind uh, blows through pleasantly warm. Looks like it worked without raising any suspicions. Wow. Kuso. Kuso, that... You took advantage of of your class's night um uh class's stupidity and ignorance. I I love you, man. Um, when someone does something touching, it warms your heart. I learned that uh this thanks to what a certain old man said this morning. Man, Kuso, you learned Kuso learned something today from his his parents. It's a feeling I don't really understand though. Now then, our alumni, Peanuts Uedasan, will now begin his lecture. Nice to meet you, everyone. You could call me a shooting star, because I'm a star who makes dreams come true. Get it? Did he really st- Oh my god, he stuck his thumbs up his nose! The joke made me shudder more than the cold did. Nuts! Oh my god. I don't really care about Peanuts' life, so I'll just go home. Oh my god. The smart people went home. So now we're on chapter 180. I gotta say, that chapter... Dude, I gotta say, the people in Kuso's class are fucking stupid. I would have just went home. I would have been like, I really don't care about Peanuts Live. So this chapter is titled, um, Miraculous, Miraculously Normal uh, per Cyan, or, uh, Person Appears. Lately, there's been someone on my mind. They posted up the midterms, midterm results. Let's go take a look. Whoa, I think my grades went down. Can they just stop posting our rankings like this already? Everyone's number one in their own lives, right? Oh my god. That's like saying, that, dude, no. No, that's like saying participation trophy SJW shit. What place did you get? 172nd. Good grief, it happened again. In order to not stand out, I make sure to get average scores on all my tests. Uh, this time I got 90th place out of 181 people, just like I wanted, but the problem is the person next to me, uh, this is the third time now. Saito Hiroshi. Oh no, this guy ranks in the same place as me with the exact same score as me every single time. Oh no. Had to be Sado. 
I don't think he's doing this on purpose, but it still bothers me. Sato Hiroshi, it's so uh, common a name that you could completely fill the Tokyo Dome with people that have who have that same name. Could it be that this guy is, whoa, you got 90th again? That's so normal. Toritsuka, what place did you get? 100 and, why are you assuming I got worse than 100th place? 175th, okay. What place? 175th, okay. Now that I think about it, Sato kind of should be in the same class as him. Uh, class plus. Maybe I should ask him, huh? Sato Hiroshi? Do we have someone like that? I just transferred here, so I don't remember everyone's name yet. How many years has it been now? I remember I saw the girls' names and addresses on the first day of class, though. Oh, my God. No. Wouldn't you be a lot more popular if you just used that memory for starting, uh, for studying instead? Is he really in, in my class, though? I thought I would have remembered everyone's names by now. Oh, hey, Shinohara, do you know uh, Sato Hiroshi? My name's uh, Sh uh, Shinoda, but Sato Hiroshi? Yeah, yeah. Um, hmm, do we have a guy like that? Even his classmates don't remember him. As I thought, this might be... Oh, wait, I just remembered. I think that's Sato. Huh? Where? In that seat over here. Uh, in that seat over there. Where? Where that guy, um, that guy standing over by the lockers. No, um, uh, lockers? No, the one reading the book. I guess that, m um, m must be some other, uh, Sato Hiroshi. No, that's him. W what's wrong with your face? I knew it. Huh? Wait, is that really the guy you were looking for? But he's so normal. Huh? You don't get it at all, do you? That man is more incredible than you could ever imagine. What? He's amazing. He's achieved something even I couldn't. He's completely normal. What are you talking about? You don't understand how hard it is to live a normal life. I've been trying uh, so hard my entire life to just li uh, live normally. People who are... <laughs> people who are... Uh, who un uh, people who are unable to live normally. <laughs> Um, but it hasn't worked. Instead, I just get caught up in disasters day in and day out. But just look at this guy. A commonplace name and average looks. Both his intelligence and his physique are middle of the road. He doesn't have a single unique characteristic. He truly is the ultimate normal man. Hey, you don't have to insult him that hard. What are you talking about? I'm praising him. He's living the ideal school life I've always wanted. Don't you see? He's literally living the dream life. The dream life? That normalness, you could even say it's deserving of respect. He's the complete opposite of you, uh, of you. You're just a lump of individuality with your fancy name and flashy looks. What's with all the compliments? I'm insulting you. Uh, you're garbage. God, I love this manga. Good grief. It seems you don't understand just how amazing Sato-san's normalness is. Hey, do you know what um, his height and weight are? Huh? Why would I know that? Maybe around 170 centimeters? His height is 169.9 centimeters. His weight is 61.0 kilograms. Do you know what that means? That's the national average weight, uh, height and weight for a second year high school boy, right down to the millimeter. True, it's amazing. It's kind of amazing how perfectly normal that is. I don't believe in normal, but there's a such thing as normal. There's only average. And that's not all. Do you see the book he's reading? What do you think it is? Huh? I don't know. It has a book cover on it. He's reading Matayoshi's, uh, Matayoshi Naoki's, uh, Hibana. Sure, that's normal, but I wouldn't say it's amazing. Incredible. Just how normal can he get? He's too perfect. I need to keep watching. Is he really that obsessed with normalness? He's so weird. Bro, that's coming from someone that talks to ghosts and is a pervert. Hmm? Hey, Sato. What? Sadokun's friend? Morning, what's up? Hey, Suzuki. Hey, Tanaka. A chubby kid and a chubby kid and a shrimp? It's so normal! Why are you getting so excited? The balance of skinny middle um fat is so good. It's the ideal trio that you see all the time. It is? Two with normal uh, vision, one with glasses. The distribution is perfect. How did I miss this trio before? Hey, can I go now? <laughs> I wonder if they'll let me into their group. What did you have for breakfast today? 
This conversation starter is normal too. I had filleted um, mackerel. I had natto. So normal. Cool. I had toast and coffee. Yours is normal too. Why did you even ask? Hey, Sada, what's your favorite food? Huh? Now, this is an intriguing question. Hmm, I don't know, but oh, this might be um, a little unusual, but I think it's unusual? What? After coming this far, is he going to say something like pho? It's a little unusual, but it's probably sushi. Or so I thought, but it was normal! Yakiniku is a close second, though. Oh, yeah, I get it. Both are normal. Both of those foods are, um, are foods that basically everyone likes. How interesting. You could learn to afford to learn a little something from his normalness, hmm? Hey, Sadokan, do you have any girl- Oh, no! Sadokan, do you have any girls uh, you like? Huh? Well, what are you doing? Just standing there watching it be so normal was pissing me off. I'm going to find out his, all his weird quirk. No! Stop! Don't disturb Sadokan's norm normal normality! What? Any girls I like? Uh, any girls I huh? Yeah, you must, uh, yeah, yeah, you must at least have some celebrity you like or something, right? Who is it? Uh, even if you ask me, maybe, uh, um, Ayesa Haruka, who's a pop, that's a popular actress, uh, singer, blush, so normal. Uh, then what type of girl do you like? Huh? That's too embarrassing. Tell me, you know, like a girl with big tits or gorgeous legs or, but promise me you won't tell anyone, okay? Sure. I like girls who are nice. Truly normal! Are you fucking kidding me?! <laughs> huh?! I was wondering what you were going to say after that build-up, but what the fuck?! Even if I tried spreading that, no one would re even raise an eyebrow! I heard that guys like- I heard that guy likes nice girls! Okay, you're too normal! There's gotta be something else, right? Like girls with big plump thighs or belly- uh, bell-shaped- Oof! Sorry for bothering you! What was that about, hmm? Who knows? Even his reaction is normal. Oh my god, this guy's way too normal. I, I, oh my god, I'm getting even pissed off at this guy be, being so normal. Oh my god, I want to punch him in the face. Sato is way too normal. See you. Bye. Huh? Aren't you coming uh, to club today, Sato? Sorry, I've got plans today that I couldn't get out of. Huh? Plans? Uh, plans you can't get out of? The truth is, I have a dentist appointment today. Oh, well, I guess you can't miss that. But be here tomorrow, okay? PK Academy's baseball club only has you and Kawashita and uh, Aba Matsutani, wait, Matsutani to be the number six right fielder. Okay, I will. So Sadokan was in the baseball club. To be honest, this is the first time I've ever been this interested in anything at school. His normalness, if I were to study him, I could be extreme, it could be extremely beneficial to me. No, uh, man, this is just flat stalking. I should uh, keep watching him. Sigh, someone called me normal again today. Hmm? Does, does Sido not want to be normal? Um... Ah, that, that's what uh, Toritsuka said earlier. Um, you're too normal. That's what, that idiot, he said something unnecessary. But Toritsuka is, Suka is, was right. He is too normal. And, and this is really making me think of that episode of SpongeBob where he became normal. Am I, um, am I really that normal? Don't worry about it. You're completely blending, blending into the background right now, but don't worry about it. Okay, here we go. Uh, for example, I always wanted, uh, I always want to press the fire alarm when I see it. Sometimes I watch late night anime, so I have some nerdy hobbies. Also, despite my looks, I even visit Village Vanguard quite a bit. Those are all normal, but don't worry about it. 
But I hate being called normal. I should try to change myself. What? See, even Zyla hates being normal. Stop, you're fine just the way you are. All right, let's uh, change. What should I do first? See, I'm the same way, man. That's why I, when um, when I when I was trying to change my own life, when I was I was just uh, you know I was just like you know what I need to make a change. I don't want to be like anyone uh, like everyone else. I want to be unique. Like the first thing I did was I cut off I cut off um I cut a good chunk of my hair off and well not too sh not like shave it but like you know cut it to here because my hair was down here and then I started wearing brighter color clothes so that's just an example uh, maybe I should dye my hair then I should start listening to more western music oh I know I could learn to play guitar and join a band what a normal imagination perfect then no one will be able to call me normal anymore that hurt uh, jackass where do you think you're walk uh, walking whoa I'm sorry sorry isn't an answer I asked where the fuck you think you're walking oh what's this he just got tangled up with a guy who was clearly far from normal you think you could pull one over on me sorry I was just lost in thought what should I do this gu scary guy started yelling at me this is bad I have to I have to sincerely apologize with all my heart I'm terribly sorry for what I've done what a normal reaction That'll be one million yen for medical fees. This guy's pretty cliche in his own way. Oh my god, not these motherfuckers. What, one million yen? Uh, you broke my shoulder, man. Hey, show me where you live. One million yen? My dad's an office worker who makes four million, um, 4.5 million per year. There's no way we could pay that much. And my mom is a full-time housewife. We have our hands full just paying for my little brother's swimming school. Just from that little information you gave us, um... You gave us, I can clearly see just how normal your entire family is. Hurry up and get moving. I'm getting that money from you one way or another. What should I do? He won't forgive me even if I apologize. I have no choice but to steal my resolve and just do it. I just have to do it. What the? I'll get on my knees and apologize. I'm really sorry. His follow-up is normal too. It's too late to apologize now, dumbass. Get your ass up and take me to your house. I'm going to take you for all you've... Huh? What just happened? I won't forgive anyone who threatens the life of someone living normally. I may have already strayed too far from, uh, uh, too far from the path of normality, but you should just keep living your life the way you are. Could it be that I did this? Hold on a second. Um, there's no one else, huh? There's no one else around, and it doesn't look like he collapsed from illness either. Maybe I have some sort of mysterious power. Wait, Saito, as if. There's no way that could... That's true, haha. <laughs> I'm sure he just got hit by a stray ball or something. I should get out of here while I have, a cha have the chance. Thank goodness he's normal. Oh my god. This chapter... This chapter was... These chapters were really good. Um, Like... I feel so bad for Kuso because Kuso wants to be normal, but in all reality, like it's like a grass is greener on the other side kind of thing going on. But poor Sato, man, Sato wants to be different, but I feel bad for I honestly feel bad for him because he can't really be different as, as hard as he tries. But anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What did you guys think of these chapters? These chapters were pretty goddamn funny. Um. And what you, I like, I hope we get more comedic chapters soon uh, from uh, Psyche. Um, uh, wait, fuck. Lost my train of thought for a second there. I hope we get more comedic chapters from uh, Psyche Kuso no Sign On. I swear to God, we need them bad. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerd Against Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to contribute to my channel expansion, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, or purchase something off my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, um... And uh, Fremia on PlayStation Network. All that's in the description box below as well. And until next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later.